uh, uh, I'm Latif Afridi, uh, professionally an advocate uh, and affiliated with Awami National Party. And I, I belong to Khaybar and Afridi tribe and am a nationalist and cherish goals like uh, uh, social welfare for the Pukhtuns, their political rights, their economic rights, their cultural rights, and their uh, equal share in all spheres of life in Pakistan. Uh, Pashtun is a nation uh, which has thousands of history, years of history, and they are, have their peculiar geography, their land is known in history, and Afghans or Pashtuns uh, have uh, been playing a very vital role in the Indian history, in the regional history. Uh, they have ruled India for three, more than 300 years. They have even ruled uh, Central Asian areas, some, some of them. They have even, uh, they had gone and captured some, sometimes Iran. And they have their distinct history, their culture, and their economy and all that. Unfortunately, they have a very long tribal life. Uh, and because of the tribal and feudal uh, formation in Afghanistan, Afghanistan could not uh, develop into a, a very advanced state and uh, it has been facing problems uh, right from the, so prior to the Soviet occupation and subsequent to that, till today, Afghanistan is facing so many problems and the Afghans are playing as instruments in the hands of others, especially, unfortunately, Pakistani establishment has been making naked interference into Afghan affairs, because of which the Pakistan itself has landed into trouble and uh, terrorism and uh, terrorists have, though, have, 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 have uh, influenced the life in Pakistan uh, mosques, schools, universities, uh, and even uh, funerals, uh, nothing is safe from them. And even today, uh, uh, right today, uh, there were information that 13 terrorists have entered Peshawar and they are going to uh, commit some serious acts of terrorism. Well. Unfortunately, uh, the situation in Afghanistan has led to the situation in here, uh, in this part of Pakistan. Uh, historically, this part of Pakistan, which is known as Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa and the adjoining tribal area, these were parts of Afghanistan in history, and initially this area was occupied by six men. The six were driven out by Britishers in. Uh, 18, uh, 1849 and from 1849 till 1947 the Britishers were ruling this area. Uh, when in 1947 the partition of India was taking place into Pakistan and India, uh, two states, unfortunately we uh, Pukhtuns, though historically being a part of Afghanistan, as far as our geography, our territory is concerned, culturally, linguistically, we were, the, the, our Pukhtun tribes like Shinwari, Salar Zai, uh, and uh, some others, right, uh, Achak Zai, Nu Zai, they have all been divided throughout this even line. But, uh, so, if somebody has said so, like, say, Mahmud Khan has said so, that, uh, Historically, this was a part of Afghanistan. There was nothing wrong in that. Those who, uh, those who have read history, uh, they don't deny this fact that historically this is this was a part of Afghanistan. But 
uh, in the partition of India, when the British British colonialists were leaving, unfortunately, uh, Pakhtuns, although uh, despite their bright struggle, this, this, despite their sacrifices, this, despite their uh, fight, very long fight, uh, as compared to the present parts of in Pakistan, uh, Afghans or Pakhtuns leadership did not present their 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 their, their, their case for independence or for their uh, distinct existence and they they remained in Pakistan and they be, we, we, we are still in Pakistan uh, and to be in Pakistan is not something bad but you see the way we have been we, we are being treated Taliban were imposed on us our houses more than 200,000 houses our houses have been burned thousands of people from tribal areas have been uh, sent to camps and they are displaced their, their, their houses have been burned, they are displaced people. Uh, in all that um, employment opportunities are some sort of uh, other opportunities, that economic opportunities that could uh, be utilized by Pukhtuns, they all uh, uh, were reduced into a knot and there was, nothing was left for Pukhtuns. Uh, therefore, Pukhtuns' leadership especially political parties, they should consider this situation, they should unite and they should have a common agenda, they should have common demands and they should uh, have equal rights in Pakistan because Pakistan is a federation and in federalism it is essential that every federating unit must have all the rights which are enjoyed by the other units. But here one federating unit, Punjab, is dominating the whole of Pakistan, Baluchis, Sindhis, Pukhtuns, Mahajirs and everybody else. Uh, uh, therefore, uh, unless the Pukhtun leadership get together, unless they have a new agenda, unless they uh, organize themselves into a new political, in, into a strong uh, united political party and they make a united demand, they will remain split up like this as they are, they won't be able to achieve anything and with, uh, the, 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 with the people scattered, uh, they will face problems like talibalization, they will face economic uh, problems, having no industries, having no uh, employment opportunities and uh, Pukhtuns will be either going to the Middle East or they will be uh, starving in their own areas because unless the, the resources developed here and they are put to the use of the people and they are enabled economically to have a prosperous life uh, which is only possible if we have uh, an, a new approach to our problems to, 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 to a, new, a new nationalist approach in which the common man should have uh, a share in which there must be uh, education, there must be health, there, health care, there must be uh, drinking water, there must be women's rights and there must be uh, 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 no starvation, no unemployment. Such a program unless evolved unitedly, uh, I think the, the, the situation has become quite difficult for Pakistan, for Pukhtuns in Pakistan and uh, they, they, they will remain scattered, they will remain, uh, uh, they will be uh, fighting against each other political, as political rivals. In, in, in fact, instead of rivalry, they, they need unity, they need friendship, they need uh, uh, a new approach uh, in, the, in, the, uh, in accordance with the requirements of the modern times, as otherwise, uh, uh, we are living, Pukhtuns are living in a very bad uh, st position. There is, there is total unemployment. There is no industry at all. There is absolute vulgar consumerism. And uh, w what we say, uh, the Pakistani establishment is least concerned about us. You see, uh, they are not giving our, our due share to us. Uh, and that due share, uh, 
unless uh, we unite for that and we get it uh, by our unity, then what would happen that we will be helpless as we are in face of Taliban, we will be helpless as we are in face of unemployment, we will be helpless as in the face of uh, the economic domination of Punjab in all institutions and uh, neither, we don't, neither we have democratic rights because the army in fact in Pakistan is calling the shots and the real force is the Pakistan army and not the, the, the political parties. They are just uh, sharing power for their own interest, uh, the real interest and the real decisions are those of the Pakistan army and they are calling the shots and they are making decisions uh, as if uh, the rest of the institutions uh, are subordinate to them. Though constitutionally and legally army is just one department, uh, one, one wing of the department of defense and they are subordinate to the democratically elected government and they should behave like that but unfortunately it is not the case in Pakistan and it is not now, it is since 1958 that uh, the first dictator uh, he took power, then another dictator, then another dictator, and then another dictator. Sir, uh, what is your message to the Pashtun leadership? Well, obviously, number one, Pashtuns must unite. As far as leadership is concerned, the leaderships, they should, uh, they should uh, forget about some petty differences, they should come on, uh, for a new agenda, they should unite, they should decide what are their priorities, what are the economic priorities, what are the political priorities, what are the cultural priorities, what are our status in the Federation, and what we, what we ask for, what we need, what, is, what are our rights constitutionally, and what are, our, uh, what are actually given to us. So unless the Pakhtun leaderships unite, unless the political parties unite, unless they uh, forget about these petty differences and uh, they forge unity, uh, they won't be in a position to get anything and they would be as isolated, as deserted, as uh, condemned as we are at the present. Sir, thank you so much for talking to the Pashtun Times. So I am also grateful to you for having come to the Pashtun Times. Uh, to have come all the way along from Islamabad and have interviewed me. Uh, thank you very much for that. Thank you, sir.